Previously on Dungeons and Dragons. Find my goddamn club! The, the, the club is, is at a small uh, uh, trading time. It, it's not too far from here. Sure enough, as you turn the barrels around, you see uh, a big handwritten label that says Big Bliss. This must be the powder she uses to make the arrows that explode. Oh! <laughs> hey there, one! Is uh, Miss Frizzle around here anywhere? I attack from the front. <laughs> I'm not telling you jack shit! <laughs> and he spits a tooth in your direction. Ew. Mm, yum. Your, your axe, it like lands at his neck. And he goes, Aah! What do you want? What do you want? Information. Information on what did Stromwell sent you? I knew, I knew that bastard would drive this town into the ground. He's been doing it since he got here, and, and he's gonna finish this off. Fucking. Ah! <laughs> Uh, oh, and you see, you know, th- this dude is, is starting to get a little pale beneath all the, the soot on him. Shimbledon, you search him. Okay, I loot him. The the only thing you find on him, besides what you have already seen him carrying, is uh, one piece of gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have no money. No one has money in this town, not since that blonde dipshit Stromo came in here. Strong, what did he do? Well. What do you mean, what did he do? Y'all just here to loot? Why do you care? We're here to find the club. The club? Shit. Uh, I smack. <laughs> I smack <laughs> Shimbledore from the back of the head. What club? Ow. God, you know, I try, I try to give you people the benefit of the doubt, you know. I try to be kind and, and accepting of all people, but then you come in here. Uh, kill Mrs. Frizzle. Did you cut her ears off? And then you just attacked me without warning why I was talking to you. Okay, what do you have to say now? What do you want? What? What What do you want me to say? Just, God, I want to die, but not, but not right now. Not right now. I, I, I got some things I want to talk about. Tell us about the God. jail that's underneath this town. Jail, yeah. What? His, his little friggin' personal storage? What's in there? Filbert shit. Ever Do since you know he got here, the fuck is Filbert? Filbert, you know the, the philanthropist adventurer dude, whatever. Uh, about a month ago, uh, we had a little bit of an incident which uh, blew up most of our beloved town. And Mister Philanthropist Adventurer Filbert Stromwell strides in here, pretending to be a hero. He funded the rebuilding of some of our businesses, but really, all he did was make himself a little outpost. Okay. I, I'm one of the finest armor smiths in the goddamn world. And he, has me, he my... has me making freaking silks and, and, and trench coats and, and things like that. He doesn't give me enough materials to make anything I want to make. The only people he goddamn pays was the potion seller, which is no longer an issue. And goddamn Mr. De Facto Mayor over there. I look at my wrist sundial. Okay, I'm getting bored now. Give me a reason not to kill you. Or We're you not going to kill him. We're uh, not going to kill him. Wait, can I, you I, make I, our I, weapons better, Mr. Armor Smith? No, no, no. I, 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 I wish I could. I'm, I'm not a blacksmith. My husband is the blacksmith. I, I'm, I'm more of an armor smith. But regardless, we can't make anything. You got to understand, ever since Stromo came in here, he only pays us enough for us not to starve to death and only gives us enough materials to make whatever gear he wants for his adventure in. I haven't made a proper piece of armor in ages. My husband hasn't made an, a, a new weapon in a, in a month because he has a, a different preferred blacksmith. It is absolute anarchy. Now, so so what you're telling me is you're useless. No, 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 no. I, I am useful. Uh, what what I do do is is uh, he is uh, he's a he's a fancy lad, right? He he, he likes his, his silks and his velvets. I have plenty of disguises. I will tell you, most of the people in this town are not going to be as welcome into goblins as I was, despite your hostilities. I can, Ooh, I can help you. Disguises. Get... Yes, 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 yes. Uh, n- n- not much, go. but but I can, I can help you. Truth be told, if you're here to steal Stromwell's shit, you can have it. I don't care. I want Philbert Stromwell to get his pasty white ass out of my town. 
So whatever I can do to help you, I will do. Now, granted, I'm a little less inclined considering our recent interactions, but I'm sure we can reach some sort of agreement. I think we can reach some sort of agreement. Hmm. I guess I won't be eating this one today. Stand up, you. Oh, thank God. And uh, and, he, and he picks himself up, uh, but he kind of. No, I, I give him the hand to hold, and I pull him up oh, with my teamwork. three feet body. Yeah. <laughs> uh, f- funny enough, he's about uh, he's just shy of five feet. So you being one of the taller goblins, you know, you're you're closer in height. All right, what do you do? I think we should work on some disguises, and I think you should lead us to the storage, as you said. All right. Well, let's uh. Wait, so- actually, um, just out of curiosity, do you know where uh, Filbert uh, would be right now? Right now? God knows. He comes in maybe about once a week in the last month since he, uh, he paid for the rebuilding. Uh, he, he basically just comes in to restock, and if he has any special commissions, he'll he'll drop off just enough materials to make that. But other than that, we really don't have much affiliation with the guy. Okay, has he been here recently? Since uh, the last month? I'd say it's been about a week and a half. Okay. Okay. Why? Just, you know, want to make sure we're, uh, kind of in the clear. Sure. Uh, all yeah. Right. Well, okay. let's go. Now, uh, my, my Wait. S- yeah. Before we leave, I want to pick up my mace. I want to pick up some extra powder. So I have three again. I want to pick up the tooth that he spit at Shindigo. Okay. I take the tooth before he can. No, you don't. <laughs> hey, hey, I I know I'm not necessarily in a place to make demands, but could I have that tooth? No. I, well, I, hey. I have a little box with all my baby teeth, and I don't have any more baby teeth, but, you know, I lost the But tooth look at all the other teeth you have. But it belongs to me. <laughs> you, got, you got plenty of teeth. Shimble's yeah, but I have less than us. you. He's helping us. The least you can do is give him his tooth back. We just let him tooth. live. Just I keep the tooth. Shimbledorn, just give him the tooth. No, fuck you, my tooth. All right, fine. But I'm, this I'm is making a fluffy you lose. I'm making you an ugly disguise. <laughs> fine. Can't well, be any all right. So, than he already is. Have, are you all done looting my neighbor? <laughs> Ex <Yes>. neighbor. <laughs> How well did you know this one? Well, considering she's one of about six people left in this town, uh, I knew her pretty well, yeah. Is your weapon better than ours? Uh, (laughs) It it depends on your your preferences. I guess not particularly. We should take his weapon. Don't take my weapon. What are you... How am I supposed to explain this to Stromwell well when he shows up and I need to request a new weapon, huh? All right, let's let's go. I'm in control now. Come on. Okay. Now, uh, my, my shop is directly across the road. As you can see, it's about literally just 20 feet right over there, uh, which is why I heard all the goddamn racket you were making over here. But uh, be mindful of the fact that there are guards directly down the street. So, if you can move discreetly... It would be much appreciated. And uh, and he goes out the door and heads into his shop, waiting for you guys to follow. Um, okay. Can we... Did he go out through the back door? No, he went through the front door, because his, his shop is right. directly across from the front door. Sure. Okay. Is there any way we can, like, close up the back so it looks like nothing has happened? You can try. Okay. I would like to do that a little bit. Okay. Um, roll, a, roll a use device check. Ten. You push it and it closes. <laughs> ha! Tight, 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 tight. All right. Well, I guess we're going. All right. So you're just you're just waltzing across the street. No, oh. silently. Discreetly. All right, everyone, roll and move silently. Gosh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Twenty-three. Twenty-one. Thirteen. Surprisingly, you all cross the street unseen. Heck yeah. uh, and as you approach heroic vestiges, you see a building that is pretty much the parallel of Potion Seller's Potions, 
Um, but a little more rustic, a little more wooden, if you will, uh, to kind of to match the sensibilities of the gentleman you've just been negotiating with. And so you enter the building, and uh, he's he welcomes you in and he goes, "Well, this is my shop. As you can see, it's a, it's not terribly dissimilar to to the other place." I really don't have much, uh, nothing in the, in, in the way of iron or anything, but I do have a, let's see, I got this black velvet cloak, I have a canvas trench coat, and uh, some silk trousers. So if you think we can fashion anything out of this, you, you let me know and I'll, I'll get to work for you. We should have gotten Miss Frizzle's dress you could give to Sophia. Well, Miss Frizzle's dress wouldn't necessarily fit Miss uh, Sophia, is it? But you yeah. could cut to make the size smaller. I, I, yeah? I, I could, but it'd, okay. be a, it'd be it's a little okay. weird to see a, a three-foot-tall lady walking around. You know? Hey, hey, what? I'm three foot hey, You're not so tall yourself, my friend. I know, I know, but people know me in this town. Okay? All right, Cons- look, I don't, consider- want the, I don't want the dress. I don't want the dress. It's fine. I didn't want the dress anyway. It's okay, not. Okay, I admit I want the dress. Ah. Uh, yeah. It suited me just fine when I picked her up, so uh, I could okay, wear the can dress, we just- too. Uh, all right, are you, are you going to make me go strip my neighbor or not? Because I think no, I've got plenty no. of stuff here. <laughs> all right, all right, just make us what you have. All right, what do you want? I told you, I got this nice, long, black velvet cloak. I got a, I got this I like very stylish canvas trench coat and some silk trousers. Now, I will say, I'm going to be in some serious deep doo-doo with uh, Mr. Stromwell when he comes around and his items aren't here. So uh, if you could keep these in good shape and maybe return them to me whenever you're done doing whatever you're doing, that'd be uh, that'd be real wonderful. I need to let these biceps breathe, <clears throat> so I take the trousers. I'll take the cloak. I'll take real the funny, coat. buddy. And and he and he flexes and just rips through his linen shirt <laughs> with his biceps. You broke your <laughs> shirt. <laughs> broke your shirt. Yeah, you broke my tooth. <laughs> Uh, X tooth. It's mine now. <laughs> X tooth. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Um, uh. Well, listen. I. I don't. I don't necessarily know what you guys are doing, where you're going, what you're trying to get into. Sounded like you're trying to get into that jail. I will say, getting past them guards is an absolute no go. But if you want to waltz around this town, you're gonna have to look like a. Like a normal person, you're gonna arouse suspicion regardless because we ain't had a we ain't had a tourist here in, in over a month. But uh, at least looking like a like a regular visitor, not a goblin, would uh, would do you some favors as far as talking to the local people. Okay. How do I make these pants look normal? Uh, I don't think the pants are gonna be the way to go. I think you're gonna need a cloak of some sort might, might be your best bet but she has the cloak i have the cloak well oh, oh, oh you got the cloak already mm-hmm. oh jesus you're you're a sneaky little bastard ain't you i didn't even see that no <laughs> Anyways, I, you said th- i said i took it uh, i'm well, sorry i didn't hear you it's, it's fine i mean you nearly took All my right. life what's a cloak who cares okay anyway okay. so what that's kind what of guys saying. would you recommend hey, remember when you were crying remember when you were crying i was just trying to comfort you yes i remember when i was crying remember when you bought it yeah i was about to yeah. compliment you and say you should be in one of those uh little pageant plays but you know i fine, fine fuck you oh <clears> no you can no you can tell me you can no say it's that. cool i take it back no oh anyways so uh, I mean, that cloak, yeah, sure, it, it befits you. Only only problem is about two feet of it is dragging on the ground. Uh, Can you fashion two more cloaks out of the two feet? Yeah, I could fashion one more, but then again, I don't... I, I, listen, I don't mean to be uh, uh, a, a staturist or anything. You know, I ain't, I ain't no... Uh, redwood myself but your your stature is is, uh, is gonna call you into question just just a little. So you're, are we supposed to stand on each on other each other one yes. person i don't know how effective that's gonna be when you're walking around i'm just I'm saying really fine give me the cloak I'll, I'll fix it i can make how, how tall are you uh uh nasty one 
Who is Who's this? nasty? We're all nasty. Why is he talking ew, to ew, himself? The, the one with my tooth. He's, he's talking ah, the to one himself. with your tooth. I'm two eleven and three quarters. That's actually kind of perfect. I, I could definitely make two cloaks out of that. Uh, I definitely won't have enough for you, Mr. Tall. I have one. a trench coat. I don't need a cloak. Wait, you, you, um, you took the trench coat? Yeah. Where? Hold up. Y'all keep <laughs> taking things off my hangers it. without telling me. <laughs> you said you, I could you, have it. You yeah, said yeah, you could have it, but let me know. I'm I going to go get Miss Frizzle's dress so you can no, make that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I want the flower cloak. All right. Just, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go grab it for you. I'll, I'll, I'll go grab it for you. Uh, okay. I, I could have these cut up and done in about 45 minutes. Sound good? Okay. okay. All right, you're welcome to wait here, or you're welcome to try your luck running around in your, I your little hide armor. No, know uh, there is some treasure in that lot. I'm going back there. We didn't see any treasure, Voltamar. I know where there is treasure. What about the lot behind this place? You want to check that one while he does his stuff? Or or we could rest, gain some of our health back. You're more than welcome to check out that lot, but uh, I will tell you, ain't no one been there in over a month. There used to be where, where we would do our sort of trading expositions, but uh, ever since Mr. Stromwell came in, that ain't happening Why? anymore. Don't we split up. If there is trouble, I will throw the exploding bag. I think you've done enough with the exploding bags. I'm just going to say that now. No offense, but... Hmm. That's nice. I'm still going. All right, the lot's right there. We could go check it out real quick. Uh, can I ask, not that it's any of my business, What? Uh, what's your game plan here? Uh, uh, sneak well, in. Sneak in to that jail and retrieve that club and we'll leave you alone. We'll, we'll be done. We'll be done. Real specific. Love it. Yeah. That's going to go real that, well for you. That that was pretty specific. Yeah. How are you sneaking into that jail? Huh? Through the underground tunnel. What underground tunnel? What? What underground tunnel? <laughs> the one under the tunnel. Right, you know what? Shut I- up! Hold up, I, I can't I can't talk to y'all anymore. My brain is about scrambled, so uh, y'all do whatever you're going to do. If you want to come visit me in about 45 minutes, I'll have your little dresses ready, all right? And no tricks, or we'll hey, kill you. Hey, hey, hold up. Can I ask you for a favor? Yeah. Don't mess with my husband. Just don't do it, please. My, my husband's the, the blacksmith. My husband is a, is a good man. He He has nothing to give you. Please... He his heart will give out before you can kill him. Don't do it. Okay. okay. You do this for us. We don't touch the husband. Wonderful. Thank you. Can he maybe uh make me some more bolts for my crossbow? You can ask or him. arrows. Okay. Maybe I'll do that. All right. What do you do? I want to split up and go back. To the <laughs> they don't believe me, so I'm going. Okay. Okay. I'll what check is- the new lot. Voltamar will go back to the old lot. And I guess Sophia will check the blacksmith. You guys don't want to go to the blacksmith? Because I can either. wait. I can go. Okay. <laughs> then I'll, I, I don't. I mean, I'll go by myself, I guess. I don't like the idea of splitting up. But <laughs> fine. Wonderful. Game plan. Uh, great. Let's start with <laughs> Voltamar. Uh, so you just, you're just running in the open to the field? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I move silently to the wall. <laughs> and he's going back roll to it, the other baby. one, right? Yeah, I'm going to the first lot. Okay. Yeah. Everyone roll your move silently checks now, so I could just ask if you succeeded or not. Yeah. <laughs> 17. Uh, Baltimore. You you run over to the field and you frolic through through the grass. And uh, no, no, no. What what are you searching for? How are you searching? What are you doing? Give me give me a game plan. Can I I guess start by looking around so I can see Get a get an idea of what I'm looking at, you know. You're you're scratches. looking at a at a big grass lot. <laughs> it just looks it's it's an area that you could tell in the past has been trampled more because the vegetation is not growing as densely. But other than that, it just uh it just looks like grass. Just gather information. That's more for talking to people. Or can I use that? Uh, you, you can try and use it on the grass lot. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, five. <laughs> it's not good. 
You roll a five, and it looks like a grass lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna go zigzag down this whole thing, sure, feeling it sure. out. Sure, sure. Roll a search for me. From a distance, I sense Voltamar being an idiot. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight? Yeah. Uh, you, you search, and actually, you do find something. Uh, you find a single dandelion in the grass. Yes. Fuck you. I'm picking it up. Wonderful. That's it. Guess I'm done here. Great! <laughs> Shibbledorn, <laughs> what you doing, baby? I need to search my lot. Well, okay. I move silently. Uh, roll the 22. Beautiful. So, you made it. Gonna All right. search this you're, lot. You're in the lot. Roll we'll search for it. <sighs> Five. Five. Great. You look around, and uh, for a second, you think that you went to the wrong lot because it looks exactly the same. But uh, but but then after you think about it for two or three minutes, and you sit in the middle of the field, you realize, oh no, this is another lot. <laughs> well, Do I done. find <laughs> anything? <laughs> No, you find nothing. Okay. I want to go back to the hero's vestings, vestiges, okay. and rest. I want to rest there. Okay. You walk in, and Rold is there, uh, cutting away the fabric, and he goes, Jesus Christ! God, y'all! Creepy motherfucker. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Do you have a bed in the back? So no, I, I don't have a bed nap? in the back. I barely have a bed in my house. You think I'm going to have one over here? All right. Well, I'm going to sleep on one of your shelves, and I'm going to use this shirt as a blanket. <laughs> all, all, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Make make yourself at home. Although, I will say the uh, the price of the uh, the heroic vestiges in for, uh, for an hour's stay is one tooth. Do you want me to take another tooth from you? No, 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 no. You are paying me with a tooth. I need a tooth to grant you uh, Not worth it. the ability to stay. And Red. I'm saying you're in no position to negotiate with me when I have said tooth. I'm saying in, I'm in about a two foot taller position to request it. So, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't got your little friends anymore. I give him his tooth back. That's right. You, you hear him walking away and he mutters, I don't know what an armor class is, but if I did have one, I bet it'd be real high and that bitch would never be able to hit me. As he's walking away, I pickpocket him and get his tooth back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, roll a... Uh... Sleight of hand. You have yeah. sleight of hand? Yeah, roll sleight mm-hmm. of hand. Okay. Fuck. Six. Oh. Uh, no, you fail. Shit. <laughs> Did he he, uh, he didn't it? notice you, but you failed to grab the tooth. But he didn't notice me. No. Yeah, so you're good. Can I try again? Oh my god, oh. yeah, you can try again. <laughs> Wait, we can try again? I'll allow it in this case, because I think it's... Nine. No, and he catches you this time. He goes, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> get, get! Uh, all right, all right, all right. He, he I, picks I, you I up take... and he... He picks you up and he puts you on the top shelf and he and he throws like like a napkin at you for a blanket and he goes there now let me do my goddamn work yeah fine I take a nap how long are you napping for because your other companions are out doing stuff right now uh, till they come back all right well we'll determine how much you heal if anything by the time they okay. return all right uh so now we move on to Sophia Sophia what was your move silently result. 17. All right, you're good. Um, so, as you approach the blacksmith, you see uh, this building is a little more intimidating looking, right? And it's it's not harsh, but you can tell that this building was part of the explosion. The outer brick is charred, and the western side of the building uh, has collapsed walls that are boarded up with plywood. Now, when you enter you find a surprisingly tidy workshop. There are white marble floors and clean brick walls with blacksmithing tools in the center. 
The area is obviously much smaller than it once was, and in the far left corner, up against the makeshift plywood wall, is a small living space. A nicely made bed and a small chest that seem to contain what possessions were salvaged from the fire. Behind the counter, you see an elf. This is the person who you presume is Roll's husband. Um, uh, hey, 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 hello, uh, uh, how, how, how can I be of assistance to you, uh, fellow creature? Uh, hi, hi, hello, uh, I'm Sophia. Yes. Hi, hi. Uh, My eyes uh... are down here. <laughs> <laughs> If you uh, uh, if you want anything, please, I'm willing to work with you. I, I really don't have much materials, and, and, and I've done nothing wrong. I, I harbor no no ill will. Um, I, I, please, please forgive me if, if I'm saying anything wrong. I just don't really interact with. Uh, hey, no, you're good. Hey, if you're if you're anything like your husband, I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, you know my husband. <laughs> you know my husband. You know my husband. Where, where's my husband? Is he all right? Where He's is fine. He? He's fine. He is back at the inn. The okay. heroic, the, yep, he's the, good, the he's, he's actually, not the inn, sorry, the heroic, uh, the, Vestiges, uh, yes. yep, that's the word, <laughs> he actually is, uh, helping me and some of my friends with some, uh, uh, some stuff, oh, and, oh, yeah, your, your and he friends, actually, he, your friends, with Rold, oh, Rold, yeah, you know, <sighs> what a, wild little man he is so, uh, oh, please, <laughs> a, a, any friend of Roald is of course a friend of mine we haven't seen another person here in a month if not longer please I, I'm going out of my mind I haven't had my work I haven't had anything I'm just sitting around this makeshift little area going crazy by myself anyways what can I uh, do for you uh actually you know I was wondering if you had any arrows or could make me some arrows <laughs> I could make you arrows if it weren't for Jordan Rhymes. Oh, uh, okay, I'll bite. Who's that? <laughs> uh, oh, no one. Some little piece of shit in the far off town. <clears throat> uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I get I get a little worked up. Anyways, uh, it's okay. It's okay. You see, ever since Philbert Stromwell came into town, he's been limiting our resources, and I have not seen. A single piece of iron ever since he showed up because apparently he prefers the inferior work of Jordan Rhines to mine. So Jordan Rhines gets to be his blacksmith and I get to sit here and let my talents rot. Sorry, um, yes, so no, long no story way. short, I do not have materials to make you error. That's, that's okay. Uh... You know, I didn't need them that that badly. So, uh, oh, but right. do you do you do you need to talk about something? It seems like you got a lot well, going on. You know, just yeah, it's yeah, it's a lot. You know, yeah, and I'm just my life is my work, and if I can't do my work. Then what am I supposed to do? Look, I love Roald with all of my heart. I love that man. Truly, I do. And, and when we're together, it's, it's blissful. It's beautiful. But we still have to be at work. So we're apart most of the day. And neither of us are doing anything. You know, I'm here brewing cups of tea. Day in, day out. Day in, day out. Just tea, 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 tea. It's all I do. Anyways, and so I just... Roald has these bold ideas of revolution to oust Stromwell and all of this. But it just seems like more chaos. I want it to end, you know? Hey, ever since that child came in here and, and slaughtered the innkeepers and then and, and, and blew up our town hall, it's just been chaos after chaos. And if it's not chaos, it's boredom. We've barely been here a month, but it feels like it's been a year! Uh, can I, uh, why... Is there anything stopping you from leaving? Leaving? What would we do? We have no no money, no food. You have to understand, Stromwell effectively has us locked in here by limiting resources. We don't get any tourists, so we can't make our own business. We have to rely on him and the wages he pays us, with the exception of the guards and, and Mr. Innkeeper over there, we're all barely making enough to stay alive, let alone pick up and move to the nearest town. 
I hear you. I hear you. You know. Uh. I gotta say, what what, what was your name? What was your name? Noddle. Not Nar Nardle. Noddle. N a r d o l e. Noddle Ironhide. Well. <laughs> Uh, Ironhide is, is my married name. Of course, I took that from, uh, from right. good old Roland, but yes. But, <laughs> uh, well, Nardal, you know, I, I feel for you. I want you to know that. Uh, you know, Filbert's not the only one who... Uh, you're not the only one screwed over by Filbert, that's all I'm going to say. But... Um, How do you mean? Ha... I mean, I'm sure, you know, he goes around... Uh, 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 pretending to be this philanthropist adventurer when really he's just right, yeah. some other people but whatever a anyways sorry I, I didn't mean to interrupt you I get a little carried no, away no no yes. no no please no uh, any <laughs> any time you want to bash on Filbert you let me know <laughs> Max but, uh, what, no. what, what brings you to this town I'm so sorry if you came all this way for arrows it's just that no. you, do you see what I mean I can't conduct business even if tourists do show up I don't have anything to make uh, products for them. How? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, do Do you have anything else? Why Why are you here? C can I, Can I be of any so, assistance? No, no. Maybe, maybe. Uh, we can actually work together a little bit. I mean, your husband's helping us, right? Sure. But With you what? being a, he's making us some disguises. I trust you enough now. Disguises? To just, oh, are we going to a convention? Uh, no, not quite. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, but, you miss but, conventions? Nardo, Nardo, uh, do you have any weapons at all? Any? Well. At all? Of course I have m my longsword. And, and he draws a beautiful longsword. <laughs> uh, and this, this slender elven man just despite almost uh almost appearances he holds it and he just emanates mastery with, with that sword and he starts doing some little tricks for you and he shows up and he goes oh yes i do love this long sword uh and of course a dagger you know for those just in case moments i know we don't really have much occasion to use them especially with the guards patrolling around all the time but it's good to be protected especially i mean who are these guards anyways i don't know them so man yeah. You know, I'm a blacksmith. What do you expect? No, please. That's that's gorgeous, by the way. That's absolutely oh, thank stunning. thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, so, Nardo, you yeah. seem pretty good with that sword. And, oh, uh, well, your husband's helping us, and maybe, maybe you'd want to help us in the... Well, I would, I would love to help you. Can I make you a cup of tea or, or, or what? I, you've yet to tell me... What you're even doing? <laughs> Nardo, do you want to go kick some ass? Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, kick some... Oh. Mm. I... Yeah. yeah, pardon. Oh. Oh. Kick some... Oh. Take your kick time. Kick some... Oh. 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 Sorry. You can say butt if you want. No, uh, no, no, no. It's not the curse. It's it's the idea of kicking some ass. Oh. Um, pardon me. I just... I've not seen combat in... <laughs> I mean, I did receive top marks in my training, but, but to go out and, and kick ass uh, against whom? Whose ass would we be kicking? I love everybody's ass here. Have you seen them? So toned, so round, so beautiful, just squishable. That Miss Frizzle, oh, she's got a bottom to... Ooh. Not at all. You Sorry. are married. <laughs> oh, oh, we talk about it all the time. I mean, for oh. being an older lady, she really has a nice bottom. I'm, I'm right. sorry. Anyways, yeah. who's, who's derriere? Shall we be... Punting? Well, indirectly, it would be Filbert. Ah? Huh? Well, I... <laughs> you see, me and my friends are here on a bit of a mission. Oh, Rowan, and... what have you got yourself into? <sighs> and so, we are actually looking for that, uh, that underground jail that you might have heard about. Oh, oh, the thing the guards are always around. It, it used to be the yes. town hall, yes. Well, right. you're not getting anywhere without distracting those guards. Ah, yes, that's a good point. 
now considering who you are and just being so, so you. Any ideas? Oh, oh Lord, are you seriously asking me to... Roald, what have you gotten yourself into yet again? Look, that man is a revolutionary at heart. I, I th There's nothing I can do to dissuade him from it. But I do love his smile. Have you seen his smile? His beautiful yeah, yeah. smile, those perfectly kept white chompers. Oh, it's, it's what made me fall for him in the first place. Oh, anything to see that smile. Listen, I... I'm, I'm more of a showman, sort of. I mean, I have skill, but I don't know if I'm a warrior. You know, the warrior's heart really lies in, in role, but... I mean, I suppose if he's mixed up in this, I can't let him go through it alone. It's true. Roll a, roll a persuasion check. Mm. 19. 17 plus 2 is 19. God, speak damned. I can't let my role go through this alone. And you know what? You're right. I We need business back in this town. We must kick that little... Bleach tipped bitch out of this town. I will help you. Really? Yes. Oh, that's, let me tell you, that's some good news right there, Nardal. That's some really good news. No okay. worries. I'm sorry, I don't know if I caught your name. Your name? Oh, uh, Sophia. Uh, Sophia. Sophia, pleasure to meet you. You know, you really <laughs> are quite the distinguished, distinguished little goblin you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yes. Thank you. Well, yeah. I suppose uh, I'll, uh, I'll get to the grindstone and sharpen my tools. Yes. Uh, 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 okay. Wait. So, so, are we are we kicking ass or are we it, like, more of a severing the ass from the rest of the body? Well, that. Well, how about and you who? Go ahead? Uh, uh, the guards. Yes, but. Uh, they're rather well equipped and uh, I will help you. I will help you but you know I, I, I could just distract them but uh, oh but you That's... really do have me itching to kick some ass now um, perhaps <laughs> I, oh, I don't know it's just it, it's a lot what about the other taverns people you know if we stop properly you know they're just slashing ass and, and just tearing think, into I ass think, then Nardo, what, what? Nardo, yes I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves uh so so but I like it I like it the enthusiasm okay. is top notch uh but how about we start with you sharpening up that sword and dagger of yours, and then you meet me and my friends, and hey, your husband. <laughs> yes, that beautiful uh, over smile. At... I can't wait to see it again. I haven't seen yeah. it all day. Uh huh. You know, he might be he might be a little busy, so maybe we'll meet you. I'll go get my friends, and we'll meet you here. Oh nonsense! Roland and I always meet up for lunch, anyways. Suppose uh, we can do a little revolution during lunch. Did past lunch? Uh, I believe it's about ten in the morning. No, 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 it's not. It's two o'clock. Silly me, I must have dozed off at my post. Oh, it's, I'm so sorry. It Lord. happens, it's, it happens. So, I'm going to grab right. my friends. I'm going to go shopping my things. Got it. I'm going to go grab my friends. I'll be back and we will talk this through and we'll figure out how we're going to kick some ass. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Goodbye. Don't, I'm gonna go. I'm yeah. gonna go. <laughs> Great. I leave. <laughs> I'm gonna move. So I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna discreetly go back to the heroic uh, thing. Hey everyone, this is your friendly neighborhood DM, John Carlo Herrera, stopping in for a quick second just to give a very special thank you to some of our supporters who donated to the opening week of our campaign. Our founding parents include Adriana Larcon. Juan Zorrilla, Will Williams, Anne Baird, Jerry Benetados, Katrina Scott, and Carolina Riverol. To all of our founding parents, thank you so, so much for your vote of confidence in the show. It really, really means a lot. Now, for all of you listening who may be wondering how you can support the shows, please go to whimsicproductions.com. From there, you can link through to our Indiegogo campaign, which is running for a limited time, as well as Patreons for all of our shows. We have some really wonderful rewards that we've worked really hard to make feel meaningful. 
including things like having NPCs named after you, being able to submit items for sale in our full-length campaign that will be coming very soon, by the way, and even the ability to play with us. We should also note that we recently reworked the tiers of rewards in all of our campaigns to make sure that they're meaningful, but also more accessible in price to everyone. So please, even if you've already given them a look, go give them a second look and see what you might find. And even if you can't donate, please, if you're enjoying the show, share it with your friends. Sharing it goes a really long way to getting more people in on the fun so we can hear what you want to see from us in the future. Oh, and one more thing. If you're listening to this at release, this means that there's only one episode of our small Goblin Chronicles campaign left. Next Sunday, the campaign will be coming to a close. To celebrate that, we're going to be having a Drimbus weekend where we will be live streaming a new TTRPG one-shot campaign live Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. So make sure you're following us on Twitter at DrimbusPod, Facebook, Dungeons and Drimbus, or on YouTube, subscribe to Whimsic Productions, so you're one of the first to see it, and you can jump in live with us as we stream these tabletop RPGs with a special guest each day. Again, to our founding parents, thank you all so much. That said, I'll get out of the way and let you get back to some D&D. Thank you all so much. So that brings us back cool. to Voltamar. What are you doing? You're in the field losing your mind. Losing my mind. Uh, there's nothing. I can't find it. So. <laughs> you found a dandelion. I found a dandelion. Uh, I'm going to blow the dandelion and make a wish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what's your wish? Um, of course, gold. All the gold. Roll up to find this treasure. Roll a d20 and add your wisdom. Ooh. 16. Total? Yeah, total. You have a feeling. You just get this feeling, right? You're sitting, you're sitting in this field on your goblin haunches. You you're blowing on this dandelion wishing for gold. And something just feels right about where you are you feel you feel like like you're in the land of opportunity like there is gold to be had and and satisfaction to be found that's all i start digging <laughs> okay roll a dig <laughs> What do, um, just digging exactly where you're standing? Yeah. What are you digging with? Um, my hands. Okay, this is pretty packed ground because this is like where conventions were normally run and people were like walking around and all that. So roll a, roll a strength check for me. Ten. Okay. Yeah, you kind of dig at it and like you can rip up some weeds and like stuff like that, but like it's packed earth. You're not really getting through to anything. Okay, I'll start digging with my axe. <laughs> roll, roll and add your base attack. 15. Uh, you get, you chop away at the earth and some of it breaks free and you lift up pieces of the earth and there's more earth. <laughs> <laughs> more earth. Uh, ah, okay, I, I made a little bit of a hole, I guess. Mm-hmm. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of the explosive powder in the hole. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> roll a roll a use device check. Oh my god. Fifteen. Okay. You put the powder in the hole. <laughs> Great. That's what you were trying to now, do, right? Yeah. Okay. Now at a safe distance, <laughs> I throw my mace into that hole. <laughs> Roll a roll roll a ranged attack. So add your base attack and add your dexterity. Oh, sweet. So that would be seven uh, seventeen. Okay. It uh it hits and it blows up. Uh and it blows up a bigger like a crater in the earth. Roll a D twenty. Ten. Oh shit. What's your wisdom? <laughs> What's your wisdom? This is a... Plus two, so it's 12. 
Okay. My wisdom is 14. Okay. Your uh, your mace is mostly fine, but it occurs it incurs some damage from the explosion. So all of your attacks will do minus one damage moving forward. That's there's a bigger crater in the earth. Search the crater. <laughs> oh my god. Roll a search. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> You find some cool dirt and like a, a real cute pebble. <laughs> yeah, I keep the pebble. Okay. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm I'm going back to um, heroic vestiges. Um, yeah. Okay. So you arrive and it's uh, it's been about two and a half to three hours of you digging and exploding and all of this uh oh my god your compatriots are patiently waiting for you they are dressed in their their new garments mr shimbledorn roll a d4 two okay uh you get two points of health back from your rest what do you guys do i want to try to take the tooth again <sighs> Roll a sleight of hand. Nine. Uh, yeah, no, he catches you and he says, Do that again and I will chop your hand off. That clear? It's clear. <laughs> you know what? He's gonna he's gonna give you a good smack for good measure. He's not trying to kill you, but he is trying to hurt you. What's your AC? Fifteen. Okay, cool. That lands. Uh after he says that, he just he backhands you away. And does two points of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you earned that, dude. <laughs> Didn't even feel right. it. Well, Didn't now that we're all back, I would like to inform the, the, the group of this. Yes. Yes, plan. Potential plan. All right, do it. All right. And, oh, man, I keep forgetting this guy's name. What's your name? Rolled. Rolled! <laughs> all right, now that we're all back, uh, I think, I think, and we are all decked out, Rolled, thank you so much for this. We yeah, were... you're welcome. I missed lunch for this. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I know. Sorry. Uh, but thank you. And also, your husband is lovely. Lovely. I know, that's why I married him. All right, fair point. Uh, whew. Shivaldorn and Volt Voltamar. Uh, so here's what's gonna happen. I think Nardal, uh, Rold's husband, is going to help us break into the underground jail. Now, hold I up, know you're you, both. You get my husband involved in this. I couldn't even get my husband involved in this. And. Uh, to be frank, I don't even know if I want to. This is uh, particularly dangerous. I'd rather you guys go get killed by the guards by yourself without a... Well, well, the good thing about this is that no one needs to get killed. Uh, I think Eli Frizzle husband... would beg to differ. Okay, once fair point. Uh, but your husband... I'm going to be honest with you, Rold. Your husband's kind of itching for something exciting, okay? Now, I'm plenty excited. Okay, and I didn't say you weren't, but he's, let, we can agree, he's an excellent swordsman, right? Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. More ways you know, than one. Seen him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this. Uh, listen, <laughs> he, it seen, he was pretty game on helping us out. All he would really need to do, or wants to do, would be distract the guards. <laughs> Chimbledore and vomits a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just unprompted. <laughs> <laughs> the ears I ate earlier come back up, <laughs> and then I eat them again. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, um, you no longer get the plus one bonus point because <laughs> you threw it. Shit. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, he wants to help us, and I'm not going to stop him, and I don't think you can stop him, so I think when you can't, you can't beat him, join him, right? That's a pretty, that's a pretty human-ish uh, saying, and you're pretty, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. You know? Right. Okay. So what's your plan? I've still yet to hear anything other than sneak past the guards. You think they're just going to let you in? They wouldn't let me in there. It's, it, see, the key word, distraction. Distraction, that's where you potentially oh. and your husband come in. Okay? Distract. All while right. we three get in there, do what we got to do, and we're out of your hair, we're out of town. And, and what exactly is, so what, you're taking something from in there? Yes. Cool. And, and, potentially, along with what we need to get, if there's anything else that, you know, we find lying around that we don't necessarily need, I think it would be cool if we left it with you and your husband for your troubles, you know, and maybe it's enough. That'd be pretty tight, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I sure think so. So. All right. Uh. Fuck it, I guess I'm in. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Roll. Alright. Alright, uh, Shimbledorn, Voltamar, how we, how we looking, how we feeling? <laughs> uh, alright, while like you guys hammer out some of the details, I'm gonna head over to, to my house, over at the blacksmith's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss my husband, uh, I'm gonna make him real happy, and, uh, you guys, okay. you guys come meet up with me when you're ready, and we'll, uh, you tell me the game plan, alright? Okay, we'll do it 10 minutes. As hey, he's go. leaving, I try one more time no, to take the two. No, 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 no. I catch you and I smack you in the face. <laughs> I want to catch, I want to catch Shimbledore and smack him in the face. Amanda, Dodge. roll, both of you roll a dexterity contest. <sighs> I'm going to vomit. Natural 20, baby. Damn. Nat 20. You don't even Plus one. you don't even move. Like you think the idea starts to pop into your head, and Sophia just slaps you across the face. <sighs> What's that? Oh, minus two damage. <laughs> I'm watching Rolled. you, smelly one. I'm watching. Rolled. And he walks Rolled. out backwards. No, wait, roll. What? Back. Uh, go ahead and pop that tooth back in your mouth as if nothing happened. I don't. I don't think I can do that. Uh, <laughs> I think you should try. I think you. I think you're doubting yourself. I think you should really try. I. I. I, I don't know about that. Uh, what tooth was it? Wait, what tooth was it? His front tooth. His like the foot. <laughs> the most visible one. Uh. Hey, you know, roll. <laughs> I mean, I could try, but. Yeah. But it's not. It's okay. You, here, you hold look up. Good. Hold you up. Look. And he jams it in. Fuck. You look high. <laughs> it work. He, he jams it in. And like it's crooked and it's off, but like it looks like it'll hold for a little bit. It's also black. That's all... <laughs> hey, that's all we need, man. That's right. the style. How do I look? You look great. Great. Fantastic. Go kiss your See husband. you in a little bit, Rold. I don't, I don't like, like how you like said you. that. I don't like Shimbledore. You. I don't like you, little one. <laughs> Likewise, bro. All right. Okay. I, All right. I, 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 I. And, it is. <laughs> and you, and you right, hear boys. down the street. I. Oh god. <laughs> All right, boys. Does this sound like something we can do? Sure. What? If they're gonna distract the guards anyway, why are we dressed up? Uh, just in case anything inside there, if there are more guards, or, you know, use your head, Shimbledorn. Use your head. Fair there for a reason. Fair All right, enough. good, good. Do I, uh, do I, do I have Miss Frizzle's flower dress cloak? Yes. Nice. And it looks good. fetching as fuck. <laughs> All right, anything we should further discuss? If not, I'm saying we jump right in, boys. We're ready. I think we're jumping in. <laughs> okay. So your idea is to have Rold and Nardo distract the guards so you yep. can sneak in to the prison. I, I think yes. just one of them, I think one of them should come with us. 
I think Naruto should come with us. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> That's the good idea. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's see. We gotta go to the blacksmith, see how they feel. Yeah, I guess discuss this with them. Mm-hmm. All right, we discreetly go to the blacksmith. If we have to be as discreet, because we have things on now. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, so. Tight. You arrive at the blacksmiths, and uh, Nardle and, and Roald are there. It feels like you walked in on a really awkward moment. Uh, it looks like Nardle is very upset, and uh, uh, Roald is, is doing his best to calm him down. Uh, and the moment you walk in, Nardle kind of looks up, uh, you know, puffy cheeks, and, and, and just looks at you and goes, You! You took my husband's smile away! 